line as we look at the tail of the tape between champion and challenger. Yeah, Patty, 10 years older, so quick with a 10-year age advantage. Juarez a little taller, a little bit more reach, but let's see if the, the younger Click can use that energy to her advantage. Both competitors throw in early, a clash of styles, and we see Click here trying to ragdoll the champion a little bit, use that physicality. Hand-to-hand -hand combat training, she, you know she's got that, does Click. And you know, one of the most underrated part of Patty's game is her defense. Very, very good at moving her head, very good at getting out of harm's way, and then coming right back and countering. Yeah, good technique from her, and, and, and she's got a nice jab to start out this fight so far. She uses it coming forward, she's using it on the, on the back step as well. And war has proved she can go in an absolute war, did so with Christine Knuckle Stanley, what a classic that was. Became the first ever lightweight champion here in BYB, and now the first ever title defense of the promotion. And this is almost like the Stanley fight, Paulie, because you can see it right away. She's finding her spot, and she's landing those. Yeah, yeah. Early on, she had the advantage over Stanley, and Stanley came on late and put her in some problems. We'll see right now. She seems to have the advantage walking Click into some shots. Click, though, aggressive, enthusiastic about attacking, but right now, Juarez picking her shots better. Click mentioned that she's got to find a way to turn this into a street fight, into a brawl. Has not done that yet. Maybe just looking for her window. Yeah, and she's got to close the gap in order to do that. And right now, Juarez's jab has been very good. And Click, Click to me, seems like a heavy-footed fighter. You know, it's almost like a plotter. You know, she's not bouncing around. She's not swiftly moving side to side, but she's loading up. Yep, well, she's got the heavy artillery, as we mentioned. Nice counter shot there by the champion, Patty Juarez. The two meeting in the middle of the trigon. Juarez now going to work up against the ropes. And you know, Patty Juarez right now is taking a page out of Polly's book, and that is lean to the right and come in with that left. Yep. those long extended punches of Juarez while keeping her balance, while keeping a proper balance and not falling in have really allowed her to dictate that first round. No. And, and that Click has some adjustments to make if she's going to be have any success in this fight. Let's hear if we can listen in on Click's corner a little bit. It's wildly loud in here. It's definitely... Look at me. You're fucking doing it all with the fucking jab. You are, okay? You can't fucking give that up. Hit the jab. Get a feint. Hit that one, two, quick. You You're going to do two slow. Good, you, you gotta fucking let it go, okay? All right. Corner of Sarah Click saying, you, you know, you gotta move, you gotta hit that one-two combination. Can't just sit there. And the crowd going crazy because Israel Quinones, one of our <laughs> fighters, one, and if you watch BYB, he's had some of the most impressive knockouts you'll see. Tonight is working as the ring card guy for this fight, for this female fight. But he's and a stripper. And that, well, yeah, he, well, actually now he's an ex-stripper. Now he works as a head of security because he's had so, knocking out so many people that he got a job as a head of security now at another, at another strip club. Equal opportunity here in... Uh, BYB, round two, scheduled for seven two-minute rounds here for the women's lightweight title. And Todd, P Patty's got a target array, the left eye of Click. The huge hematoma oh, oh, left eye. Nasty right hand by the champion. He's targeting it there, Benny. Yeah. And again, look at uh, Patty Waters picking her spots. You know, no one had a probe with that left hand, using it, no one went to snap with it, and no one went to follow it with a nice straight right hand. These straight shots are dictating not just the pace for her, but also maintaining the proper distance for her to keep control of this fight. Click now trying to throw with reckless abandon, trying to go to the body. Challenger trying to get some going, eats a stiff left hand there by the champ. And boy, Patty's just merciless on that left eye. And that's the thing about uh, Click, too. Her inexperience in boxing is showing here because she throws a right hand and she looks down at the ground. So she's not able to keep her balance, nor is she able to follow up when she misses that right hand. Because ultimately, you're looking at the ground, you're going to miss a fighter like Juarez, who's adept at defending. Yeah, you look at the ground, you might find yourself there momentarily where your head goes, your body goes. And just a whirling dervish right now is the champ, Benny. And you know what? Take it, what to take care of that looking down the ground and uppercut. uppercut Patty yeah. throws an uppercut, it's over. Yeah. Yep, that'll give you an attitude adjustment in a hurry. You can see the swollen face of the challenger, Sarah Click. The Sarah. damage done thus far yeah. by Patty Juarez. She spit up my hand out here, too. <laughs> Best seats in the house, Paulie. <laughs> But, you know, every time she's throwing a shot right now, it's going right at that left eye. Right at that left eye. She yeah, leaves. Nice jab again. 
Juarez is jabbed really, really good. Well, some short uppercuts there out of the clinch by the champion as well. Again, two minute rounds, round two, close to coming to an end, and the champion just giving her the business. Wow, what an onslaught by Patty Juarez. And, and, and that's the thing now with, with, with Click. Sarah Click is having no success on the outside where Juarez is dominating with the jab, but now she's having no success on the inside. All right, here we see again. Isaiah Quiones. Isaiah Quiones. Yep. Ring card boy. And this time at least one of the ring card girls joined them. Quiones, not to be undone. He's either putting on a show fighting or he's putting on a show as a ring card guy. And he is a gentleman. He's waiting for the ring card girl to step down. There's Stanley. Oh, take a look at this. Christine Stanley going to have a watchful eye on this one and the outcome. Obviously, that's a matchup everybody wants to see again. Stanley was supposed to fight tonight. He was supposed to fight Miranda Barber, but now scouting here in our main event would obviously not want and love another crack at the lightweight title. Great to see Knuckles. Would have loved to see her in action in the Trigon. Certainly will soon, we gotta believe. And, and, and if Sarah Click doesn't make any adjustments this round, I don't know if she's gonna get out of this round. And you know, she had her mouth wide open that last yeah. round. She was really gasping for air. You got your mouth wide open. Next thing you know, your eyes are gonna be wide shut. But here we go. Third round scheduled for seven two-minute rounds here. Lightweight title hanging in the balance in our main event of LXF8. Tis the season to brawl. And you know, for Patty, that's a big advantage, training in Denver and Mexico City. You're up in that altitude, so she's in great, great shape. Holding on there is the, the challenger, Sarah Click. We'll see if she can maybe throw something out of the clinch. Referee standing between the two fighters now. She, now she's defending even when she's not any guy who doesn't have anybody on top of her. Yeah, and that's the thing now. Click is too focused on not taking punishment, doesn't know how to approach the rest of this fight here. She's eating a ton of punishment is the challenge, I mean, Benny. Yes, she is. And, you know, she's not fighting out of it. At least she's trying to go ahead and get some kind of a leverage. But Patty's relentless. She has a target, that left eye. And that left eye is absolutely just, look how huge it is. Yeah, there's not, there's not much left there. I mean, well, she was, 20 seconds ago, she was defending shots that weren't even coming. So she, was, but she doesn't know whether she's throwing or defending. She's very, very confused and a little bit out of her league here. Can't Give question her credit her for toughness. toughness. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but so far in this main event fight, the Trigon's been a big operating table. And with surgeon-like precision, the champion is carving up the challenge. She's spinning at the mouthpiece. Spin the mouthpiece. No, no. That was, that was know, Polly, when does the referee step in here? Because yeah. obviously she I mean, has the no corner's got to step in, Benny. I mean, they got to know their fighter first. She just, that mouthpiece came out right in front of us. Right in front of us. She spit it out. She turned her head and spit out the mouthpiece. She, before she's, earlier in the round, she was defending shots that weren't even coming. Juarez is 10 feet away from her, and, 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 and Click is ducking, trying to get away from punches that aren't even on the way yet. I mean, she does, she's out of her depth here. She's got to, they got to be careful how they get her hurt. And part of you knowing this fighter, you got to know this girl's got an unbelievable heart. She's not going to quit. No. Yeah, someone has to go ahead and end this because look at her face. Got that military pride and fight. And round coming to a close again and now just teeing off as the champion looking for the finish, but Sarah Click with that never say die attitude ah! survives another round. But relatively no offense, Polly, by the challenge. Nah, she doesn't even know how to put it together because on the outside, Juarez is dominating with the straight shots. And then on the inside, Juarez is more adept at finding the openings to the body. She's getting worried. There's not even a technique there for Click. She doesn't know how to fight. Look, look, give it out. Get the fuck out of there. Isaiah Quinone is getting stuff thrown at him now as a ring card guy. He's about to fight. Now he's pointing at a girl saying he wants her number. He's ready. He's ready. To, he's, he's, he's a showman. In the corner now are the challenger. I mean, Todd, I'm not seeing a doctor in that corner. No. A doctor would be there. That's what I'm saying. Earlier we had a doctor stop a fight over a scratch. And, and, and the doctor didn't stop it. Sammy stopped it. Sammy was a referee stopped it. Oh, earlier. Yes. And that. And, and now. I don't know, man. 
All right, looks like we're going to fight on here in our main event. And uh, yeah, you're right. The doctor not taking a look at Sarah Click. Into the fourth round now. We'll see if she can throw a Hail Mary of some sort and get something going and she, offensively. Now she's starting to southpaw, which is only going to make her more open for the right hand. But you know, Patty's got a big hematoma on her left eye, too. Oh, nice right hand there by the challenger. Got through. I mean, again, give credit to Click for her, but her only her only plan is duck and throw shots right i mean she's not there's no there's no technique here just getting outclassed and carved up by the champion continues to go to work uppercuts now those aren't gonna do the challenger any favors referee got to take a good close look at this and absolutely and the corner too and the corner too at this point this is this is an assault. Even when she's not getting beat up, the only reason she's not getting beat up is that she's holding. It's not like she's she's holding her own in there. Got to intelligently defend herself and just now eating unanswered shots. He's got to step in there. She hasn't thrown a punch. She's tried. I mean, not where you want to be in the corner in the trigon, and especially when... Patty Juarez is on the other side with all of her ability as a pugilist. Oh, oh wow, what a right hand. That's, that's going to do it. Thank goodness. Somebody had to do it. That corner, that corner really, somebody had to go talk to that corner. Oh, that's unbelievable. But it took the referee to stop that fight. What an incredible heart. you got to give that to Sarah Click. I mean, just a, a warrior's heart. She was totally overmatched. She was willing to fight a world I, champion. I, I, out of her depth. I mean, look at the damage there. Look at that eye just swollen shut. But world-class toughness. Yes. But very, very low-grade uh, skill. Very low-grade skill. She didn't know how to close the gap. She didn't know how to fight inside. She didn't know how to defend from the outside. She didn't know how to defend from the inside. She was just straight tough. That's all it was. And it's, you, you got to know as, you're, as a person in the corner, you know, how limited your fighter might be. And when they're running into this kind of trouble, they're not going to be able to turn it around. There was no shot Daryl Cook was going to be able to turn it around. She's not going to win that fight. This was only going to get her hurt more. Absolutely. You talked about a world-class toughness against a world-class boxing pedigree. You see Mariana, Barbie, Juarez in there, who has the most world title fights in history, by the way. But, yeah, you got to applaud the toughness. And, oh, my goodness, take a look at this, guys. Come on, baby. If you want some, get some. I'll be any of you. Christina Ferreira, for life. No she one's taking my place she, ever. She can fight. Making her bits. I, mean, I can take lying. any of you. <laughs> she's not lying. She'll yeah. get in there with anybody. She can fight. Uh, and here you see a lot of class, a lot of heart was displayed by the challenger. But man, oh man, what a dominant performance by Patty Juarez. And now you see Barbie there giving her the kudos as well. A lot of class as we look back at finally this thing came to a close. And again, a two-handed assault there. Juarez makes some space, steps back to create more punchy space. That is a big right hand that really couldn't have done any favors to that already swollen eye. I think when Sammy saw that right hand, how flush that thing landed, yeah. that's when he finally stepped in there. Because again, she wasn't able to do anything. She couldn't get out of that corner. She wasn't going to get out of the corner. Barbie was, I mean, uh, Patty was not going to let her out of that corner. So it was, that's just a bad, bad position for Click. It sure was, but never say die attitude. We go back inside the Trigon to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sam Burgos calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 21 seconds of the fourth round, declaring your winner by TKO.